Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Blair back again with Team Ape, Ape Nation, baby. Uh, two weekends in a row, two regionals. Well, one regional this weekend, but we did it again. We got another top. Not necessarily a win, and I'll get to that later, but we still got we still got top top four. Uh, it was 48 man, it was 48 invites, which was really, really, I was very surprised that we made that number. Uh, so it's a whole bunch of points. I think I ended up, ended up getting uh, 45 points on that. So, like, that's a huge chunk in uh, World's points. So, as you know, we're going on the ground, the world, road the Worlds. Make sure y'all stay tuned for that on the channel. Um, I did it again. I played the same deck. Uh, played Cyber Dragon Orcus. Um, the deck is really, really powerful. Um, didn't want to change any other deck because I like this deck. deck's really fun. And Cyber Dragon is, is a really fun deck to play. And, it, like, there's so many different things you can do outside of just Orcus combo. Putting up other negation and just, like, being able to recur things and, like, just blow back your opponent. Um... Pretty much it, let's get into the deck profile. Tokens, not to trade. You're gonna see a lot of that hopefully this year. So I'm gonna go through really quick since I did a video on this already. It won't be 20 minutes, I can guarantee that because I'm just gonna blow through everything. Uh, so once again, few, very few changes. Uh, three Cyber Dragon, of course. Three Core, uh, three Hertz, two Nashter, uh, two Soldier, uh, same on that. Uh, two Horror, two Nightmare, one Skeleton, one Wand. Uh, two Nessie, two, two Jackalope, two Snakes, all monsters. Uh, three Emergency, uh, three Machine Dude, Broken Car, three Call of the Grave Steel. Uh, one of again, Rev System, uh, Foolish Burial, and Repair Plant. I took out the uh, Monster Reborn and, and just kept it at 40 cards. I think when we talked about the deck last week, um, I said I wanted to kind of think about cutting Rev System, but I decided not to do it because I, I didn't know what else to put in there. Monster, it could have been Monster Born, but like I was just iffy, whatever. But I went ahead and did Rest of Us Searchable, and it actually uh, came up a lot more um, this weekend, like opening it. And then there were a lot more situations where I needed to, uh, like where I needed to search this to bring a monster back. And then the protection effect was really, like, was really key as well. I played a lot of back row, like, I played a lot of back row decks this weekend, and bringing just bringing a body back um, was actually like uh, essential in me winning. Uh, and then uh, two overflow and one crescendo as well. Overflow is overflow is still the best deck. Uh, the, like one of the like key cards in the deck. And you play two because you want to like if you want need to search something else with core, if you need to search like your stuff with core to do your combo. Um, draw you want to hard you want to hard draw this. Like this is what you want to hard draw instead of like searching it so you can do your combo and have this to like just blow them back. And if they don't see this coming, then like it's a lot easier like for you to just end the game right there. Uh, so 40 cards, like I said, took out the Monster Reborn. Um, hey, brother. Really? All right, so uh, extra deck, the extra deck did change um, for the promo cards, and it's a it's like two changes in it. And so one all Mirage to link you off your core and all your other small guys. Nightmare Package to do your Orcus combos. Uh, two Galatea still. Uh, one Long Gear Sue, Boar Sword to kill him. Um, Nova Infinity. Uh, we played one Ding Girsu this weekend, and that's one of the changes we took one Ding Girsu out. You can bring it back with uh, Nashter, or with um, your skeleton, just keep it on the skeleton. So the one was fine. There wasn't any situation that came up this weekend where I needed to make another one from the extra deck. Still the same fusions, uh, Fortress and Mega Fleet, and the one change for the second Ding Girsu was actually Invoked Mega Book. <laughs> So this so this weekend was actually the first weekend that the new promo cards were legal, like Dimension Shifter, uh, Dark Ruler No More, which really doesn't hurt this deck. It really, really, that, that card really doesn't hurt Orcus, so I wouldn't side that against Orcus if it's any Orcus variant. And uh, Nibiru. Nibiru is the biggest thing that actually hurts this deck. Like, so, like, cause you, of course, you split someone more than five times, and then against Orcus, like, that card is good against Orcus, because, like, you do their, they do their whole combo, and then they end a turn, and you just drop the Nibiru, and if they have the trap card, the trap card is dead. The only time it really might not do anything is if the, um, if they play Babel, but it's still just one thing you have to worry about. You don't have to worry about them having Babel and the trap card live, so... The only thing at that point you have to worry about is then Gearsu, and then you can just play your turn, um, accordingly from that. But the reason we played Mechaba, because once you do your orc, like once you like say your standard combo with the Cyber Dragon deck, like core or whatever, like core, um, do core, like get your Galaxy Soldier play. So you have All Mirage, and then so you have All Mirage and your Nova right here. So once they see the Nova, 
they know you're about to make infinity. So at that point, if they have Nibiru in their hand, they have the Nibiru and tribute these off to summon the token. So what people don't know, um, Nibiru, um, Nibiru's effect to tribute your monsters is a, is, an, is sending Nova to the graveyard by your opponent's card effect. So Nova's effect will activate the special summon a machine fusion monster from your extra deck. So I was like, when I thought about that, I was just thinking about like what could I what could I could do? And of course, it's a Cyber Dragon deck, so you can do um uh, uh ramp ramp. Thank you, Blake. I uh, shot the Blake on the camera by the way. You can do um uh, Comeritech Rampage Dragon, which like if they do it with you going second, it puts um Rampage on the field. Then you can send uh, two Machine Monsters to your grave, which usually hurts in core. If so you can get the core back, and then it can attack three times, so you can do more damage than just kill them. But going first, like it's good, but it's not all that great because I only play one Nova. So I can't like make another Nova to make an, to make the Infinity. So like so when they send the Nova, I thought about hey, Makeup is nice. It's like depending on like what I have in my hand, I can just leave the Makeup and it's in the gate. And if I have the trap and I have Overflow already as the trap, then this could be my backup. And like depending on what I have, like I can have monsters and spells and even a trap in my hand. But then not actually a trap, but like because I set this, so I can have a monster or a spell in my hand. So they have to go through a negate with Makeup, a big beater with um a big beater with uh the token and then like the trap as well of course nibiru is bigger than this so they can just go into their battle phase and then attack over this but it still wastes their battle phase and then have to do the play so i don't die apparently and i still have a big token but the reason why i did it is because i'll have my mecha or whatever your fusion target is and then i'll have the token so there's still two monsters so i can still go into the full orcas combo and then i play server so i can just server is pop their nibiru and then still i'm um, going to the mermaid and then go into the full combo so like that was the reason it didn't come up. There was one situation where someone, someone almost did this, but and I did play people that did side Nibiru, and I opened the combo, and they didn't have the Nibiru. They didn't draw the Nibiru, but if just like if it did happen, this situation was there where I could still Orcus combo through the Nibiru, and it didn't. Like I said, it didn't come up, but we always set up for um, what if scenarios. We just don't, we just don't want to lose the cards, so we like to have options so we can still play the game and make our opponent sad. So extra, extra deck, uh, side deck. I did play the promo cards. I, I borrowed them because the, the the vendor was out. Um, well, I bought these. I got these two, but uh, the other ones I borrowed. So I did play three Nibiru and three Dark Ruler No More. I cited this again. I saw it once. I cited it in a couple times, and I'll go over my turn report. I cited this against like course of combo decks. I saw it once. Like he's playing Thunder Dragons. He extended really really hard. He made all three Colossus, and then turned two of the Colossus to a whole Harbinger. Uh, set a back row pass turn and on his end phase I dropped this and his whole board was gone and I was able to play uh, Dark Ruler No More same thing side against combo decks and with this I'll tell you where this actually came up I cited it in another matchup and this actually came up and I'll tell you what that matchup was when I go into my tournament report uh, everything else was the same I think I changed like uh, one thing in here Twin Twister uh, red reboot for the trap decks and then we play summon limit the thing with this deck we have a lot of cards to side for going second but we don't do we just uh, even though the deck is really good by itself uh going first we still want other cards going first because you know they're going to put in like the nibiru's like hand traps they're going to hand trap you to sleep like um if they land you even though we still do the cyber dragon stuff we still want another backup on top of that so we wanted to play summon limit i cited it in but i didn't get a chance to see it but i just did full combo and they couldn't do anything um, that's the whole deck list. Uh, let me go through the tournament report really, really quick. It was nine rounds. Uh, I was I ended seven one, and I should have ended seven one, but I'll tell you that. So round one, I two zero Draco, uh, two zero against Draco. Uh, round two, uh, two zero against Guru Control. Round three. Uh, so this regional, like depending on where your regional is, they really don't do lunch breaks, but they did a lunch break um, for this event, and my car wanted to go to go out and get lunch, so. We're, we're getting ready to come back and there's six minutes into the round already so we have to hurry up and drive back to the venue and i'm sprinting down the hall to try and get into my seat before i get the match loss so i have 10 seconds left before like i have 10 seconds when i sit down so uh of course i lose i've already lost game one game two i, I choose to go first i full combo he he impermanences me twice i still full combo and then he scoops so he doesn't so i don't see what he's playing and then i see impermanence so i'm thinking like some backward dick whatever so i sat in twin twisters and he's playing pure thunder and even though I don't draw the Twin Twisters or anything, but I have like three search cards and like the other cards really don't, aren't that impactful. And then I'm able to make my Orcus come. I'm able to get into like the Mermaid, but he has Ash. And all he had, like he had like Colossus and uh, 
tighten. And he didn't even have anything to um, pop with, like to trigger tighten to pop anything. But just the ash, like with nothing else in my hand to stop me, and I just lost that game. But if I would have been able to see a game three, I could have sided. Uh, I could have sided accordingly, and then just like took it from there. But the game, the game, the game one loss, like really, really hurt me. So I actually could have won that game. But that's not here there. So round four, uh, two one against Pendulum. I went to die roll. A full combo. He, he can't break it. Uh, he goes first. He does a really, really interesting play actually to play around Dark Ruler no more. He goes uh, Heretic Spheres, Ib, like the link to Ib that points this way, uh, Hot Red, and um, Vortex Dragon, and then play Secret Village of the Spellcaster that he drew, which was really, just really, really, I guess, nice. Even though I didn't see Dark Ruler no more, but the Secret Village and then the Ib not being able to die, and then the Heretic Spheres. Uh, like, it was just too much to do. Then game three, uh, my full combo. Also, one thing with this that he was doing, I was doing my combo. I was doing my full combo with the Cyber Dragon to make Infinity and stuff. So while I'm doing my while I'm doing my combos, he's over there fiddling with the dice, like acting like he's counting the summons. One like, and I told him this. Like I noticed it like while I was doing it, like off the out of the side of my side, he was doing. I noticed what he was doing. Don't do that. That's manipulating the game state. And if a judge sees it or if your opponent reports that, you can actually get a game loss and DQ for that because you're, manip you're manipulating, trying to manipulate your, your opponent to do a play. To play around a car, to play around a card, and whether you might have it or might not have it, that's manipulating how they play the game, and that's definitely against the rules. It's in the, it's in the policy documents. That's against the rules. So, one hundred percent, don't do that. He also didn't have the biru, and he couldn't break the board. So, huh, weird. And if he did, if he did have the biru, then <laughs> we had, we had uh, <laughs> this to, this to go into to continue to do the orcas combo. Uh, round five, those yeah, round five. I played against World Chalice. Uh, he didn't play. He played one card. Um, in both games. Like, literally played one card. Uh, after that was Zephyr Pendulum. He won the, this one's interesting, he won the die roll and ended on five five interruptions, including Magister, Jackal, Vortex, Spheres, and the Trap card. And I broke the board and beat him game one. And then game two, I sided in the Beerus and uh, the Dark Rulers, and he made me go first. And I opened zero of them and opened full combo instead. So, stop making me go first. Or do, it's whatever, I don't care. Um, round seven, uh, two one against Fossil Dyna Trap Deck. So he played actually. This dude played next to me the the round before, and I saw his deck. I saw a whole bunch of traps and stuff, and I'm thinking, oh, he's playing Draco or whatever. But as I was saying, he as I was like seeing him play the deck and everything, it was actually like a stun deck, like with Fossil Dinos, Inspector Borders, um, uh, Foss, uh, Thunder Kings with a whole bunch of crack like Crackdowns, Judgment, like a whole bunch of trap cards, Mirror Force. I got Mirror Force game one. Uh, I lost game one, and I was pretty upset because I hate like decks like that. Game two, uh, like I'm able to like make my board and like break everything. The trap card is broken. Like I just pop everything and just kill him. Game three, I was thinking about like what he's playing. I'm like he's gonna go first. He's gonna summon Fossil Dino. It's gonna be a hard time. I have a couple monsters that can like attack over like a uh, Harpoor, uh, what you call it can attack over it. Uh, what, what's his face? Uh, Suchi Suchinoko can actually attack over it. Cause it's 13, but he has plays Crackdown Mirror Force and stuff like that. So I'm like, of course I sided in Twin Twister, Red Reboot, and I, I'm looking at my side and I'm like, yo, this card's gonna be really good. So I side in the Dark Ruler No Mores. So the first turn he summons the Fossil Dino, sets some back row pass. I open my hand, my hand is nuts, I have the combo, like the full orchestra to do everything. And then I, I draw into Dark Ruler No More. So I Dark no Ruler No More, he judgments. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I summon Harpoor, he Crackdowns. So pretty much he's beating me down. He's beating me down with um, Fossil Dino. And then he summons another Fossil Dino. And then, like, he just beat me down. I'm like, at 2,000, he's at 4,000. And he has, like, three back. He has a crackdown, uh, something else that's face up, and then, like, three other back rows. So I'm like, all right, I'm about to lose. I have to draw, draw a monster that can attack over. And I'm about to lose. I have red, re have red reboot set. And then, like, my, the rest of my card is still combo. So I top deck into uh, Suchinoko. I'm like, okay, I, like, this is my only chance. I have to, like, do this so I can just keep beating over. So summon Suchinoko. He judgments, which puts him at 2,000. I red reboot. And then he dark bribes the red reboot. I'm like, there's no way this. Is, I don't even know what I can draw this one. I can't special summon, cause I'm like, I'm literally just about to die. Like, it has to be like twin twister or something. But like, I'm literally about to die at this point. So he dark bribes me. I draw a card and I draw a dark ruler no more. And I'm like, they like this is literally fate. So I, I slam down a dark ruler no more. And then at that point the game is over. But that card is broken. And thank you dark bribe. Uh, round eight I play against uh, thunder drag pure thunder dragons. Uh, my two own. This is the one. Where game two he makes the he goes to does the full combo like crazy combo like makes three um, colossus Olays and the uh, hope armature then I Nibiru on the end phase and then like all those colossus are gone like everything is spent at that point 
and then like I just controlled the game from there. And then round nine, I played against Paleo Frogs, and um, I, I two owe him because the trap card is really really broken. And then he kept making like when he was able to make um, uh, totally awesome. It was an extra monster zone. So at that point, all you do is just special summon Cyber Dragon. Game two, he did uh, he did normal summon uh, Inspector Border and uh, set up a whole bunch of traps. And then I just special summon Cyber Dragon to make uh, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon because it's a machine. I make sure to remember that this time. But that's the turn report. That's the whole deck list. Not many changes, but I was really, really proud of the deck. So uh, next weekend, I have a really, really busy weekend. I'll be going to um, Jacksonville on Saturday. Hopefully, it's still floating. Hopefully, it's not underwater. And uh, Sunday, I'll be going to excuse me to Knoxville, Tennessee for the regional on Sunday. So if you see um, if you see me at any one of those events, like stop by, make sure to say hello. I'll, I'll say hello to you, talk to you a little bit, any questions about the deck or anything, or any other deck. Like, I'm pretty versed with, like, all the decks in the format. If you have questions about any deck or whatever, or just talk to me or whatever. Just don't be afraid to come up and say hi. I'll, I'll definitely gladly talk to you. But that's it. It's a long road. It's two weeks in. I'm already feeling it. But we're definitely going to get there. We're getting the worlds this year. But that's me. This is Blair with Team 8. See you.